System check okay. test. And I'd like to inform you, I'm going to work strictly with my primary gauge only. Primary gauge is the center one, okay? And in order for me to perform this test, I have to be at least 100 pounds of pressure. So, with your permission, I would like to conduct a safe start. Wait for the pride. That's in neutral. I'm going to power up my gauges. Wait for that ABS light to come on. Once it turns off, it'll be, be for me to fire up the truck. It's turned off. All that, okay? I'm already at 100 pounds of pressure. So I'm going to begin my test. First test I would like to perform is my low air warning. And the purpose of that test is to make sure my low air warning light and or tone comes on between 55 and 75 PSI. Mr. Examiner, my light on my primer came on at 55 PSI, therefore it's a good test because it's in the parameters of 55 and 75. Now the next test I'd like to perform is my compressor cut out test. And the purpose of that test is to make sure my primary needle cuts out before exceeding 140. Alright. We're going to go up to 1200 RPM. Keeping an eye on my primary gauge to see where it's going to cut out. actually a compressor cutting out but do not go by that sound give it a few more seconds okay make sure that needle actually stops because they lag and it did stop all right mr examiner i do have cut out a compressor cut out at 115 psi therefore it's a good test because it never exceeded 140 never exceeded 140 all right the next test i would like to perform is the compressor cut in test and the purpose of that test is to make sure my compressor cuts in before that needle drops below 100. So I'm going to press my circuit brake once, release it, wait for it to settle, announce that reading. This is damage settled at 105 psi, I'm going to throttle 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I do have cut in. Where did I cut in at? Can anybody 110? tell me? 110. 105. 105. Okay. Wherever it's settled, that's where it's going to begin to rise. Okay. Right? So I have a good test. My compressor cut in at 105 psi, therefore it's good because it never fell below that 100 mark. Okay? Now the next test I would like to perform is the applied brake leakage test. And the purpose of that test is to make sure I do not lose no more than 4 psi in 60 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and engage my transmission in little gear. I'm going to power down. Release the clutch. Power up my gauges to get proper reading. Release my parking brake. Close my trailer brake. Wait for that needle settle again. That is my static pressure. All right, now I'm going to apply my service brake and hold it, hold it firmly. It's going to settle again and announce that first reading. All right, Mr. Examiner, my primary needle settled at 90 PSI. Can you please time me uh, for 60 seconds starting now? Meantime, you're keeping an eye on that needle, okay? The examiner's going to go, all right, Alex, your time's up. All right, 60 seconds up. Second reading. All right, Mr. Examiner, I am still at 90 PSI. I did not lose no more than 4 PSI within that 60-second count. So, therefore, it's a good test. 
Would you care to check the gauge? Or can I just release my foot off the brake? Always ask for that permission, okay? He's gonna say, go ahead, release your foot off the brake. <laughs> Everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now the next test I would like to perform is gonna be my pop-out test. And the purpose of that test is to make sure my tractor protection valve, as well as my trailer protection valve, pops out between 20 and 45 PSI. So I'm going to begin fanning my brake, right? I'm going to go ahead and cover that gauge because it's not important at the moment. But I do want to make sure that both of these do pop out, all right? You want to make sure they both pop. If only one pops out and you call it, you're going to fail the test, okay? Do not touch it because they're going to think you're assisting it, okay? So just focus on that. Do not do this. It did both pop out. Now you're going to look at your gauge. All right, you're going to tell them, all right, Mr. Examiner, my tractor protection valve, trailer protection valve popped out at 35 PSI. Therefore, it's a good test because it's in the parameters of 20 and 45 PSI. All right. So now the next test I would like to perform uh, is going to be my three-way brake test. But in order for me to perform this test, once again, I have to be at least 100 pounds of pressure. So I'm going to conduct another safe start. Make sure that's in neutral. The brakes are applied. ABS uh, lights already off because we've been on ignition all that time. So I'm fired up. Now, while we're waiting for our air pressure to build, permission to do my in cab inspection. Just like when you do outside, section at a time. I'm always going to start from the back right here. Safety belt, properly mounted, secured. All the bolts are tight. The strap itself is in good condition. It's not cut or frayed. And that uh, it does latch and unlatches freely. Okay, just leave the latch after that. Next, I'm going to check for all my mirrors. I want to make sure they are all properly mounted and secured. They're clean, they're clear, free from illegal stickers. They're not cracked, broken, loose, or missing. Windshield, I want to make sure my windshield's in good condition, clean and clear, not cracked, broken, loose, or missing, free from illegal stickers, and it's not heavily pitted. My windshield does have a seal. I want to make sure that's not dry. It could either be gel or rubber. I want to make sure it's not dry, cracked, broken, loose, or missing. Outside of that, I do have my wipers. I want to make sure my wiper works, as well as my washer fluid. Then I'm going to check for my wiper blades. I want to make sure the wiper blades itself is in good condition. It's not cracked, broken, or missing. It's in good condition. I want to make sure that does have a proper tension up against my windshield. I'm going to go ahead and jump into my gauges. Mr. Examiner, at this moment, I'm only concerned with four gauges, and that would be my oil pressure gauge, coolant temperature gauge, my bolt meter, which is digital, I want to make sure all these three are in normal operating range. The last gauges will be my air gauges. We know it's been working because we just got done testing the air gauge. Check into my left turn indicator, right turn indicator, four-way emergency flasher, as well as my high beam and low beam. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into my steering wheel here. I'll be checking for my city horn as well as my highway horn. I want to make sure they're both or one is working properly. Then I'm checking for my three emergency equipment, FET, first is fuses. I want to make sure I have extra fuses in my fuse box. E, extinguishers mounted on the left side of my seat, properly mounted and secured, not broken or missing. I want to make sure it is properly charged and in the green range with a safety pin on it. Now my jockey box, I do have three DOT reflective triangles. I want to make sure they're in good condition that they're not broken or missing. Lastly, I'll be checking for my heater and defroster. I put that on defrost, put that on heat, turn the fan on for it up above, make sure it's working as well as the bottom. Okay. Just examine that will complete my in-cab inspection. Now I'm going to finish my three-way braking test. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and engage my transmission, low gear. I'm going to check my uh, parking brake. I'm going to release my brake, uh, trailer brake. And just feel for a slight tug, okay? All right. That was a good test. My parking brake's held. Now I'm going to check for my trailer brake. I'm going to release my parking brake. All right, that is also a good test, my trailer brake cell. Last test would be my service brake. Mr. Examiner, would you like me to perform it? Or just explain it? Almost always, these guys are gonna tell you to explain it, all right? Get that back in neutral, make sure it's safe. I'd still be in low gear. I'm gonna release my parking brake, as well as my trailer brake. Place my left hand at nine, right hand at three, open palm. All right, I'm gonna roll at five miles an hour, 15 to 20 feet. I will then apply my service brake and hold it firmly. Now, if my tractor and trailer stop straight, it is a good test. But if my steering wheel tugs either left or right, it could indicate I either have a low air, flat tire, or my brakes are in need of adjustment. 
to examine that will complete my air brake, uh, air brake system check test as well as my in cabin check. Okay. That is it in a nutshell.